What's going on, YouTube? It is Teen Grade Luck here. I'm your host, Enrico, and like I said, to all my wonderful, beautiful faces out there, mm, this is just miss you, miss you, love you, love you. Welcome back to our channel. Today is our premium mark watch for Card Fight Vanguard. If you guys don't know, every Friday we do a premium mark watch, and every Thursday we do a standard mark watch. So today we're only going to focus on premium cards, or you can call it G format cards. We're going to find out which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. Now, the first cards I want to talk about is the Zero Dragons. The Zero Dragons, a few of them are going down and a few of them are actually go still going up ultimate secret rares are 80 bucks and then after that 150 and then after that 160 dragma still holding at 63 this and uh, the regular ultima the regular zr ultima is still 80 but 83 oh, 80 bucks to like 83 stark took a huge hit the secret stark actually went down to 40 bucks last time we saw stark at 60 to 70 and now the secret stark is down to 40 dollars so i'm going to assume the regular zr stark also took a big hit. I'm pretty sure. It, I'm pretty sure they both took a hit. Megiddo still holding at 38 to 40. Well, apparently after 40, it's going for 53. Zoa, the secret is still holding at 56, but then after that, Zoa is 200 dollars. And Dusk, oh man. All right, so Dusk, the ZR is going for 32 to 33. Last time we saw Dusk, Dusk was barely 30 dollars, but then the secret Dusk is actually going up to the 38 to 39 dollar range. And as you guys can tell, Stark ZR, the regular one, took a huge hit last time we saw at 90 to 100, and now the Zero Stark is down to $44. So Stark definitely took a huge hit. SP version of Super Dimensional Robo Die Nexus. This card, the cheapest one, is actually 10 bucks, but then after the 10 bucks, it's going for 17 to 20 to 23 to 30. So the SP Die, Die Nexus is actually being bought out. Not really too sure why, because the Triple R goes for less than a dollar, and I'm pretty sure this. This card isn't really that great, but since Deep Police is on its way coming back to standard format, or since, well, since we're going to get more support for Deep Police coming out soon, I guess people are just assuming to pick up the SP Dine Nexus. Zeroth Dragon Drachma is still holding at 68 to 70 bucks. Again, a lot of Zeroth Dragons are either keeping the value, going up a little bit, or going super, super down. Megiddo is actually going up a little tiny bit. It's up to 48 to 49. Uh, Dragonic Overlord, the Destiny, the SP version, there's only one listing left for $55. So, uh, Dragonic Overlord, the, De the Destiny SPs are being bought out. They're about to leave the market. And I'm assuming the Gurgwit Stride, the regular Triple R version, is actually going going up as well and we found it right here all right so the gergo is tried last time i've been selling them for like 15 bucks for the longest but now i sold all of mine i don't have any more all my gergoid strides are all gone so i'm assuming the gergoid stride is going up and it is gergoid stride is going from 16 to 18 then 25 then to 28 so the gergoid stride is actually being bought out as well gergoid stride is now heading towards a 20 dollar range last card i want to talk about in ultimate stride is black shot gavriel Prium. this is the the last grade three for angel fighter the last stride break grade three for angel feathers this card is going for two to three bucks but after the two to three bucks it's going for four bucks then to six bucks and then eight dollars and keep in mind there's only six listings left for this card again this this last uh, stride break for angel feathers that we got is honestly the best stride break for angel feathers that we currently have if you guys are looking to, to pick up Nurakami cards a couple Nurakami cards are actually going down in value a lot of them actually took a huge hit now people are realizing that Nurakami isn't that great in premium Nurakami is great in standard but Nurakami is not doing so well in premium so so far the V Buster last time we saw at 10 to 15 now the cheapest V Busters are now seven dollars there's actually two listings up for seven dollars but then after that V Buster is back up to the twelve dollar range but I'm pretty sure V Buster will stay below the ten dollar range a lot of Nurakami cards actually took a huge hit a lot of Nurakami cards are actually going back down in value Chrono Tiger Gear Glare SP version is also leaving the market as well we only have two copies left online for 13 bucks each but again, this card isn't that great. Um, the SP version, of course, is, is a collector's card. It's going to be really hard to find. But again, this card is not that great. I don't know why it's being bought out. I don't know why it's leaving the market. Demonic Avnet, one of my favorite old sets from premium format. For some odd reason, Ganslot P Saver, the SGR, is going up in value. There's one for 30 bucks, but then after that, it's going for 36 And then after 36 it's hitting the $55 range. I don't really understand why. Again, Ganslot slot p saver is getting reprinted but then again it's a different rarity so i'm assuming that wise and also we don't know the pull ratios on, on the revolva collection too how, how it's actually going to be for ganslot uh ganslot the regular gr is for 18 and 19 not really surprised there's no reason why ganslot should be money 
Marie. Little Great Sage Marin, the SP version that only came in the SP pack. Now, the reason why this card is being bought out is just for the fact that it's an actual good staple card in, in uh, Blasters in premium format. Now, this card only came SP in the SP pack. It didn't come SP by itself. It only came SP in the SP pack. So, that's so I'm assuming that's the reason why this card is very expensive at the moment. It's because it's not easy. It's not that easy to pull Little Great Sage Marin unless you actually pull the SP pack. So, right now, uh, Sage Marin is going for, for 49 and then after that, 75 bucks. But then the PG for Blasters, made in Divine Spring Leon, the SP version is 25 to 36. Now, this card I'm pretty sure it came in the SP pack and it also came SP by itself. I could be wrong, could be right. Comment down below if you guys remember if the if the if the PG for Blasters came SP by itself or it only came SP in the SP pack. Flair Arms Ekenberg, this stride for Kagura is still broken. I don't understand why people really un undervalue this card. Flair Arms Ekenberg is the best restanding Kagura card in premium format. It's the best one. Not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. That card is simply amazing. It's a recent Vanguard with a free cost. Well, the possibility of having a free cost. Now, at the moment, the triple R version is going for eight bucks, but then after all of these listings, they're going for the ten dollar range, and then after the ten dollar range, we're seeing it to the nineteen dollar range. So, Flare Arms Egenberg, if you guys have them, I recommend to keep them or value them more than ten bucks. Flare Arms Egenberg is a great card. Just people, a lot of people are just undervaluing it. And to even prove my theory more on Flame Arms Egenberg, the SP version is gone off the market. There is no more Flare Arms Egenberg SPs are gone. Last time we saw, I believe it was like fourteen and fifteen, the SP version, but yet the triple r is almost at there the triple r is at 10 is almost at the almost at the 10 dollar range so you guys can definitely tell flare arms egenbergs are definitely going to be money the gr agma stride this card is finally coming down in price the gr is going down to 22 bucks thankfully because before we saw this gr for like 30 bucks and or i think it was 30 or 35 bucks but finally now the gr is actually going down in value dragonic vanquisher v max the secret rare is also going down in value again a lot of narukami cards are actually going down in value because people are not realizing narukami is not that great in premium so vanquisher last time the secret rare used to be like 15 to 20 bucks but now the cheapest one is actually six dollars well seven dollars but then after these two listings they're going back to the 19 dollar range so again if you guys want to pick a VMAX for a dirt uh, for a dirt cheap price for seven bucks each there's two copies there's two copies online so again Nurikami cards are finally going down after the hype Blazing Sword Fires the SP version is going for 16 to 17 this card is also leaving the market there's only five copies left in the market right now at the moment so I'm assuming the triple R has to go for like five or ten bucks fun fact Genesis Dragon and the Messiah the rare is actually going down in value last time we saw this rare go for like 10 to 13 bucks but now it's down to four to five bucks finally messiah cards are now calming down in price uh, before they were actually really hyped up blazing sword fives the regular triple r version lightly played is one for 10 bucks and then after that fives is going towards the 15 dollar range so the triple r fives is also leaving the market blaster friend bark al is also leaving the market the cheapest one is 375 but then after that there's one for 450 and then after that there's one for six there's three listings left for this card this common card there's only three listings left and it's going towards the five dollar range flying periton this rare for pale moon the basically the infinite loop uh grade two is also money it's going towards a nine dollar range there's one listing for five bucks after that six then seven and then eventually the nine dollar range so the rares are the, so the rare grade two is finally back in the market there's a bunch of listings but unfortunately the rare grade two is money Blazing Sword Fives isn't the only role paladin leaving the market. Arrow Divine Knight Altmau, the original Altmau stride, is also leaving the market. There's only one copy, lightly played for 820 for 820. This card is was broken back then. This card slightly went down afterwards when we got better roll piling strides. But now the original alt mount is leaving the market. Another card that's leaving the market, but this time it's a new nectar, Dream Spinning Asha. The cheapest one is going for seven bucks and change, but then after that, they're going towards the $35 range. There's only four listings up. The cheapest ones are seven to eight bucks again, and the last expensive one is going for $35. This card was broken back then. This well, technically, this stride was the best new nectar stride that we ever got until we got better neo, neo nectar strides but now this card is also leaving the market stealth dragon room star now you look at the price it's actually pretty cheap right here but there's only one copy now if you actually t check the listings there's only two listings up for a dollar or less but then after that this rare is going for a dollar to four bucks each and there's only a few listings up and there's only one list there's only one copy of each listing besides the last one going for four dollars each so this so 
the other Murakuma cards, like the Stand Trigger's money, the Grade Two from uh, Genius Strategy is money. But now the now Stealth Dragon Rune Star is also becoming money. Conquest Dragon, the SP version, is also going down in value. Last time we saw only only have one listing for thirty bucks, but now we actually have a cheap one for for uh, twenty three bucks. So I'm happy to see that more Murakami cards are actually going down in value. The original Triple R Conquest Dragon is also going down in value. Last time we saw it for fifteen, but now the cheapest one is actually going for eleven bucks each. Another Nur Kami card that's actually going down, but then again, uh, people assume this card would be broken. The SP version, Dragonic Kaiser Crimson, basically the Legion for uh, for uh, Vermilion. The cheapest one, SP version, is going for six fifty, then eight bucks, and then the most expensive one is twenty bucks each. Again, last time we saw this card, this card was heading towards the twenty dollar range, but now this, but now this Legion stride is actually coming down towards the eight to six dollar range. Now keep in mind, the double R version of this card is less than two bucks, so I'm not too surprised that this SP version that this SP version of Crimson is actually going down in value speaking on Vermilion's Dragonic Kaiser Verm Vermilion the blood the SP version is completely bought out they're all gone off the market last time I'm pretty sure we saw like two copies or possibly one copy left for for the SP version of Vermilion the blood but now they're completely gone if you guys have any copies of this card I'm pretty sure you could put it up online you could put it up online and sell it for like 20 bucks or, or an easy 25 bucks now let's go back a little bit more further to the, to an old old set original set seven rampage of the beast king free traveler the good grade two rare for darker regulars that puts a card from the deck into the soul is now going is now at the four to five dollar range. Thankfully, because last time that card was hitting towards the $15 range. Yellow Boat is still 8 to 9 bucks. Not really surprised about that. Purple Trapeze is, is still 5 to 6 bucks. Again, another card that I'm not too surprised about. Monoculus Target, the SP version. There's only one copy left for 10 bucks each. So if you guys have any copies of those SP version, which I'm pretty sure you guys really don't think is money, it is now actually money. Dancing Princess of the Night Sky. This card, a rare grade 2 for Pale Moon. Basically does the same thing as the rare grade 2 for Dark Regulars. But instead it's for pale moon now this card at the moment is going for a dollar to two bucks but i can i can guarantee you right now since we're getting more pale moon support coming up i'm pretty sure this card will go up to the five dollar range possibly even more but i'm pretty sure dancing princess of the, dancing princess of the night sky will go up once we get more once the pale moon support comes out cosmetic snowfall shoryuki 95 dollars cosmetic shoryuki 250 dollars three hundred dollars last card i want to talk about meteor kaiser busted this card is heading towards the twenty dollar range there's one for 13 and change but after that we're seeing 20 bucks each on this old nova nova grappler gr stride now this card came out in the old fighters collection 2016 again when this card when this gr first came out for nova, for nova grapplers it was one of the best strides for nova grapplers but then eventually when we got more uh, victor support when we got when we got a better victor strides like like a winning champ victor when we got those strides medium kaiser buster was left in the shadows like nobody cared about this card this card went down to four bucks or well, 43 bucks but now this card is finally going up in value this this old gr from nova Gopers is heading towards the 20 dollar range so that's our market watch for today I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed the video please hit that like button if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel definitely subscribe to our channel we will have more carpet vanguard content for you guys and also leave a comment because i love replying to your comments i love talking to you guys that's kind of like the main point of doing mark watches I love having conversations with people about the market, about what cards are money, what cards will eventually be money, and what cards are eventually going to be minus. Now, I'm going to end out this video by saying a lot of Narukami cards are dropping, finally. Well, besides the Blood, the SP version. Uh, Zero Dragons, a few of them are keeping the value, a few of them are hitting hard like a few of them went down hard stark went down to forty dollars but then a few of them are actually going up in value like ultima zoas and dusk a little bit but again i'm pretty sure some people out there either need the zero dragons because regionals is coming up regionals a, a couple regionals are around the corner and people need the zero dragons but um if, again, guys, if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know about Revival Collection 2, definitely look up Revival Collection 2 and look up what cards are being reprinted in that set. A lot of cards are getting reprinted, but I'm not too sure. How, I can't really, I can't really uh, estimate how much those cards will actually be, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna, it's 
gonna lower the value down for the, for the Zeref Dragons. And also a lot of cards are leaving the market. Royal Paladin cards are leaving the market. The Dream Spinning Asha is leaving the market. A lot of cards are finally are finally not leaving the market. So if you guys have any copies of those cards, I recommend to put them up on TCG Player and sell them immediately. And also, Flare Arm Ziegenberg is a broken Kagro card. Please, if you guys have it, it is money and it will be money. So that's it for our Mark Watch, guys. Stay tuned for next Thursday is our standard Mark Watch and next Friday is our premium Mark Watch. So I will see you guys later. Deuces!